if you would give Jared Goff advice, if he would ask for advice, what would you tell him about facing Belichick? Um, well, I mean, I think the one thing I would tell him is that you have to realize this game is like every other game when you get between the lines. You know, I, there's ebbs and flows of every game. I, I look back at my three Super Bowls. The first one, we were ahead 16 to nothing. It was tied 16-16 in the fourth quarter. Just talked about the one in 2001. We were down 17 to three, tied up at 17 to 17 with two minutes to go. And then, you know, the one against uh, Pittsburgh later, we were down 10 at halftime, took the lead with two and a half minutes to go in the game. So every game, even big games like this with high stakes, they have their ebbs and flows. Momentum shifts very quickly. And that's what I would tell them is you got to ride the waves of the Super Bowl. No matter which way it goes, you might jump up early. You got to be able to sustain that. You might fall down early, similar to what they did in New Orleans. You've got to ride that wave, even though it's the biggest game of your life, even though you know Tom Brady's on the other sideline and there's a lot of pressure in that moment. You've got to allow the game to come to you. And the guys that don't do that are the ones that get blown out in Super Bowls. The guys that do that are the guys that have a chance to win late in games. And um, that, that would be the one piece of advice I'd give them. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.